Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and I have Mia with me. And Mia is dressed in all pink because on Wednesdays we wear pink. So Mia is decked out from neck to feet in pink. I didn't have any pink pigtail holders to put in her hair, so she does have one purple and one blue. But Mia wanted braids in her hair today. So this is the first time that I've actually berated Mia's hair and I think it looks totally adorable. I do hope that Maddie doesn't see it because Maddie likes to copy Mia, but Maddie's hair is not long enough at all to do braids. So hopefully she won't throw a fit about it. But today is Wednesday and I have Mia. There she is, all smiley as usual. She has on a long sleeved pink onesie that has unicorns on it. And you guys probably can't see it because she wanted to show you guys her Dr. Seuss book. But it says beautiful like mommy. And then she has on her pink tutu and a pair of pink tights. She wanted to show you guys her, uh, sorry. She wanted to show you guys her Dr. Seuss book and the one that she chose to look at today was the iBook by Dr. Seuss. I have several Dr. Seuss books. I have been checking out my local Goodware, Goodware, Goodwill over the years. And believe it or not, you guys, if you go to the children's section in the books, you can find a ton of books that are like brand new for a reasonable price. And I have picked up lots and lots of popular character books and also Dr. Seuss books from my local Goodwill for pennies of what they want regular price at like a bookstore or Target or Walmart even. I think I paid $1.25 for the book that she has in her hand. And I know when they were selling those at Target and Walmart, they wanted at least seven or $8 for that book. So that is how I get my books. That is how I get my children's books. I either get them from the dollar store or from the thrift stores. So not only do I pick up clothes for my babies at the thrift stores, I also pick up books and sometimes I pick up toys too, but not all the time because unfortunately the thrift stores around my area, the toys are always usually missing parts. There have been a couple of times that I have found some really cute toys that I wanted, but it, it was either missing a piece or miss, missing the battery compartment. And that goes with board games too. I still pick up classic board games every once in a while but you have to be really, really careful because 90% of the time, they're missing pieces to the game that are crucial. So yeah, there is Mia. She wanted to show you guys her Dr. Seuss book. So there it is, the I book. And we wanted to come on and say hello, happy Wednesday. On Wednesday, we wear pink. And also, if you guys noticed two videos that I put up yesterday, I did not do a Toddler Tuesday video because I had no clothing for the theme yesterday. I do not own any toddler clothing for any of the Disney characters that Renee had picked. The only thing I had was the Disney onesie that uh, Mia had worn in Monday's video for Disney Monday and I did not want to show you guys that for two days in a row, even on a different toddler. So. I decided to do a throwback video yesterday of one of the Huxleys I owned and of one of the Liam's that I had, well, the Liam that I had owned. And I had several messages asking me where I found a baby that actually moved like that. Those babies do not move. Those are actual reborn dolls, just like how you see Mia sitting here. She does not move, she does not blink. Her face is the same all the time. That is an app on my phone that turns pictures into motion. And that is what I did. And I did those a long time ago. I did those videos, well, the first video with Andrew 
and the Huxley, those were done probably two years ago. The Maddie video that I put up in the evening yesterday, I actually did that one yesterday and I thought it turned out so cute that I did one with Mia and also with Kaden and those will be coming out over the next couple of days. I will have one coming out tonight and one coming out on uh, Thursday night. And so no, it is not um, a baby that, or it is not a doll that actually moves. It is an app where you can take your picture, your still photo and turn it into motion. So just to clarify, because I did have a few people actually um, message me from YouTube on my Instagram and ask me if those were actual dolls that moved and no, they are not. They are dolls, like, just like I said, they are dolls just like Mia, how you see Mia sitting here. Mia does not move, Mia does not blink, she does not move her mouth, she is still as can be. So were the dolls in the videos. I just use an app on my phone to make them look like they are moving but they are not really moving. It is just an app. So I hope that clarifies for the four or five of you who messaged me on Instagram asking. And other than that, guys, we are not doing a whole lot. Um, I have been thinking about piercing Mia's ears. So you guys need to let me know if you think that that would be a good thing to do or not. She's really gung ho about it. She wants some pretty earrings. I'm not too sure about it. I don't know if I want to do it or not. I kind of do and I kind of don't, but I'd like to see what you guys think. If you guys think that Mia would look that much cuter with pierced ears. I mean, she's cute as it is, just the way she is, but I think maybe she would look, you know, cute with pierced ears too, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not too sure yet. I'm still kind of on the fence with that. I'm still on the fence about making Andrew a drink and wet too. I really want to do it, but it's like at the same time, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And so, I don't know. I want to do it and I don't, if that makes sense. And I hope it does. I want to do it because I absolutely love feeding them and actually having them really take the liquid. But it is a lot of work. It took a lot to make Jonah a drink and wet. And so I know it's going to take a lot to make Andrew a drink and wet. And the thing with Andrew is his silicone is a lot softer than Jonah's. So that is one reason why I'm so super hesitant about making him a drink and wet. In one sense, I think he would be easier to do because his silicone softer, but then also I feel like he would be easier to mess up than Jonah. So I don't know you guys, I'm still really on the fence about that. I wanna do it really bad, but I don't wanna do it. So I'm still thinking about that. So yeah, it is Wednesday. We are getting ready to read Mia's Dr. Seuss the Eye book. We're just hanging out, playing, having fun. Our weather is still very, very warm for this time of year. We are still currently experiencing the high 90s. We are getting a little bit of a break coming up. We are going to be having low 90s and high 80s. So that is somewhat of a break. It is just really weird though. I really wish that since it is technically fall, I wish the weather would cooperate and actually be fall weather, like in the low 80s and high 70s. That would be nice. Um, also, I remember when my kids were little, they, there was one year when they were little that they actually went swimming all the way up till right before Halloween. So I know it is not unusual where we live for it to be hot all the way up till close to the end of October. So I don't know why I'm complaining. I should be used to it, but I don't know, I am. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Me and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye guys.